Hi, I'm Corinna. We're going to do a prehistoric dinosaur with our model Monty today and uh, create a wonderful work of art just for you. For your basic supplies, you will need small, medium, and large brushes, a high-density foam makeup sponge, a basin to rinse your brushes with water, and a towel, and of course, an FDA-approved cosmetic-grade face paint and glitter. Our first step will be to apply the outline of the dinosaur. We're going to make the dinosaur's mouth actually on the lips. So when, as Monty moves his mouth, so will the dinosaur. So we're taking our large green brush and we're going to create the shape of the head. I'm going to swoop around for the upper back and the tail goes over the eyes. On the dinosaur's body, the T-Rex specifically has a very short front leg and a very large back leg. So we'll scoop around the thigh and then extend the leg out. And just do a basic, you can always go back in and create a bigger one. And then the little arm, which is why he's so mad. He's got such a little arm. And just do with the, with the green, just do your basic shape. Step two is to make the gums of the mouth. And you'll, you will need a pink for that, just to accentuate the inside gums. If you don't have a pink, just make it a lighter green and it'll be just fine. So with our white and a number four brush or number two brush, we're going to make some teeth and make them very sharp. Staying with a very fine brush, I'm using a one. Take your black and you will accent uh, the border of the teeth. So go around and make that triangle. You can also take a little bit of the black and just go around the bottom of the teeth so that the pink stands out a little bit more. Step three, we'll continue with the black and the number four brush. And we'll make the nose, the nostrils, the eyes, and a little bit of an outline. So the nose is a just a half circle, teardrop shape. With the eye, we're going to make him angry. So we'll do a little line upward for the eye and a half circle for the shape of the eye itself. And let's do some outlining. Decide how we want this leg to look. The dinosaur have uh, the shape of duck feet, so they have a three-pointed triangle. So you want to make sure that you allow that there. And we'll go in the neck. We'll add a little bit of a jawline. Continuing with our eye, we'll take our white brush, fill in the eye socket, get our black brush, which we still have nice and wet, and we'll make the eye. So this is our basic dinosaur, all finished, and if you'd like more options to add details, we'll continue. To make it more three-dimensional, we'll take a yellow and a larger brush, number eight, and we'll add a little bit of highlights. We'll drag the paint to blend it across the top of the thigh. This brush has, um, it is fairly wet. We don't want it to be runny. But if it's wet and you drag it across something that's dry, it'll actually pick up that color and add it to itself. Now, sometimes T-Rexes have stripes, so we will add some black stripes. Take, a, take the flat brush, and as you pull it, pull it to its point so that you get a little bit of a teardrop shape. And because he's angry, we'll add some snarling, bending folds on his face. And we'll add some very scary toenails. You'll take your black and your number two or your number four, whichever you're more comfortable with, press the brush in and drag a curl so it looks like a nail. Now if you want to make the dinosaur feel like it's in an environment, we can add some grass. Take your black, and this I'm going to take the black and blend it inside the green to make it a darker green. Let's add a little water and make some blades of the grass. And you can always add accents by adding white. It's a 
easy, quick, simple way of highlighting your design. So now we're all finished with our T-Rex and we want to show Monty he's ready to eat. Mm, it's awesome! <laughs>